Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And I can actually start saying that now because I'm starting to get returning viewers. Which is, is kind of crazy, but l let's begin with this. We're going to be talking about this weird beef argument, I don't even know what to call it, between Daniel Cormier and Henry Cejudo. Now, to give you the brief bare bones of this whole disagreement, I, I would have to sum it up as Cejudo says that Tom Aspinall crying for winning the belt is, is, is embarrassing and he's not the real champ anyways. He's the number one contender. That's what the interim belt means. And that he, he should save those tears for actually beating somebody like John Jones. And Daniel Cormier says he is the real champion. John Jones was a no-so. And part of me believes that... I know this for a fact. Both of these guys are going into this argument with an ulterior motive. Daniel Cormier is arguing that Tom Aspinall is the real champion because he knows if that catches, catches wind and we as a fan base start saying that, John Jones could be stripped. And if John Jones is stripped, that means his next fight, if he wants to end off with the title, there is no more Stipe. And he has to fight Tom Aspinall. And his final fight not only is not a title defense, but if he loses, he loses not as a champion. Which doesn't mean a lot to me and you, but when you reach the level like as a John Jones and like a Daniel Cormier, and I think they see it like this too, money isn't the main driver anymore. Now it's just a legacy. And if you need any more, like, background knowledge on this, I actually recommend that you watch the latest episode of the JRE with Daniel Cormier. That's where I'm going to be getting a lot of this. Plus some stuff that Henry Cejudo is posting on Instagram. You got John Jones in the comment section kind of critiquing Daniel Cormier and treating him like a hater for even daring saying that John Jones isn't the true champion at heavyweight. And... I think I have a nuanced view on this that I think most people have, but we're, we're kind of tricked to fall into one of these two camps of John Jones is the real champion and Tom Aspinall is the one, number one contender, or Tom Aspinall is the real champion because John Jones didn't sew up. And all I'm really trying to say here is Tom Aspinall, even if he is the number one contender by your own definition, Cejudo, his next fight is John Jones. That's my biggest problem with this argument. And I side with DC more on this issue. Because at least what he is saying, we are getting closer to a Tom Aspinall versus John Jones fight. That is my end goal. I do not know who would win. But what I do know is Tom Aspinall is more deserving of a title fight than Stipe Miocic. Over what... Tom Aspinall has been able to do in the past two years puts him above Stipe in terms of the number one contendership. And my problem with Cejudo here is Cejudo will make this argument as like, it's an, really a simple argument because he's right in the way that Tom is not the true champion. He is the interim. And he belittles that by saying the belt should be dipped in silver. And I will agree with you 100%, Cejudo. But that means Tom Aspinall's next fight is John Jones. And John Jones's next fight is Tom Aspinall. The, if what you're saying, and you will stand by that, that he is the no, true number one contender, which you have said, then Tom Aspinall has to fight John Jones. And DC is coming at this, like, I do like Daniel Cormier, but also, you got to take whatever Daniel Cormier says with, with the grain of salt of he does have beef with John. And Cejudo has a bias for John Jones because Cejudo helped train him for his comeback. There is an invested interest on both sides, but people only know of the Daniel Cormier stuff because that fight was public. But Cejudo trained John for his comeback. So, I'm in agreement with Daniel Cormier because it gets us closer to the fight I want to happen. 
I disagree with Cejudo because I have a feeling that Cejudo is saying that Tom Aspinall is the number one contender. But, but Tom's not going to get the chance. That's all I'm arguing for. I'm arguing for Tom Aspinall to get the chance to prove that he is the best guy at heavyweight. He is the clear number one contender. If you speak to both Daniel Cormier and Cejudo, both of them will agree on that at the very least. I'm not even going to say who is better, Tom Aspinall or John Jones. Because I don't understand why I have to. We're in a sport of fighting. If we want to know who's better, why not just let them fight each other? But the argument is, well, yes, Tom Aspinall is the interim champion. But Stipe gets to fight John next. That's where I disagree. I, as much as I love Stipe and like what he's done for the heavyweight division, the, his last fight, if it is John Jones, understand that John is going to go out and there's going to be this question that could he have beaten Tom Aspinall? Because I'm telling you this right now. Tom Aspinall will reign over the heavyweight division, and I think he, at the very least, ties the heavyweight record for title defense. It's not that much. Like, people will say Stipe is the GOAT, but, like, Stipe being the GOAT of the heavyweight division is like calling Aljamain Sterling or Dominic Cruz the GOAT of the bantamweight division. Yes, yeah, you're technically right, but it's not a as crazy of an accomplishment as John Jones's accomplishment over light heavyweight. But here's my solution to this issue, and I'm not just going to comment on it. John Jones gets to keep the belt, but his first fight back is going to be against the clear number one contender. Can we agree on that? Whoever that number one contender is between Tom Aspinall and Stipe Miocic gets to fight him next. So I say in the meantime, why not have that matchup between Tom Aspinall, Stipe Miocic, UFC England. I know they were talking about filling out Manchester. We do it there. You can have him defend the interim under the condition that his next matchup is John Jones. I don't think I could lay that out any more clear. I don't think anybody will disagree with me there. As a fan, it is very hard to disagree with that. That way, we all get what we want. Tom Aspinall gets to remain active. He gets to keep his number one contendership. He gets the chance to prove to the world that he is worthy to fight John Jones. And when John Jones comes back... He gets to defend the belt and potentially get a title defense before he retires. And he gets pay-per-view points because the undisputed champion gets pay-per-view points over the interim every single time. That is my plan to fix this issue. If you think you have a better one, put it in the comment section below. But without further ado, I, I, believe, I believe that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for supporting this. I mean, it's actually been kind of crazy, like, seeing seeing the progress and, like, how my videos are growing. I mean, we went from only getting, like, 300 views in a week to now. I just put out a video yesterday. We just cracked over 1,000. I know that doesn't sound like a lot when you look at, like, these other creators. But this is my eighth day of this long-form content in a row. And... I, I think that's pretty good progress. And if you like my content and you want to see more of it, I drop daily content. Subscribe, like, you know how it is. Adios, guys.